loses that expansion, though, I think he is going to be high in economically. Looks like we're just going to see an expansion trade here, actually. I'm not sure where, uh, which expansion uh, Up Magic's going after here. I know he's trying to position on one of them. I'm surprised he just kind of sacrificed that. It looks like he's going to try to hold that, uh, trying to reinforce that contain in the center. Those carriers coming down on that contain, though, and doing a very good job of taking those turrets out. Um, and as you can see, another expansion in the 6 o'clock position that uh, that uh, Up Magic just uh, retook. And now going to push right into Bisu's secondary and probably just advance right on his main. Going to encounter a lot of dragoons here. Comps at and bring the tanks back and siege them all. Um, and wow, a, a, wow, but it looks like those zealots managed to get in. Zealots all over the place. Those carriers coming back in the meantime. And uh, a magic's a bit pincered in here. But all those dragoons down now, and that's going to free up the Goliaths to go in and, and attack on those carriers. And uh, just going to be able to run right up the ramp and attack those uh, tanks unseaged. But that six carriers down, keep that in mind. Six carriers are really hard to take care of with any amount of, uh, with any mix of Terran units. A um, couple zealots managing to take out those Goliaths, so the rest of these tanks are going to go down easily. Uh, uh, Bisu doing some fantastic micromanagement there and just had uh, really the, the superior unit set. And so six, uh, up magic in the meantime, going to rush in with some vultures and, prob and probably try to mine right underneath those carriers, but I'm not sure if any of them are actually going to be successful in doing that. I'm not sure if that's a bad rolling point, but I, I think what he's trying to do, and wow, Bisu dedicating to carriers at this point. Absolutely dedicating to carriers. Um, a couple of Corsairs up to deal with the uh, uh, raids should they come. Another carrier down to the Goliaths, and it looks like Up Magic in turn. Um, looks like he has a decent amount of Goliaths down, but uh, still producing raids, still producing um, tanks, and it looks like uh, that expand trying to get that secondary up, but that <laughs> Dragoon still in that position. Um, and that's going to be difficult, as you can see, with that Dragoon at that position, he's going to have to rally point around them. Uh, Up Magic still producing, but I think Bisu is, is firmly uh, beating him economically and definitely with those carriers all over the place. Um, <laughs> Looks like Bisu put down a pylon to try to deny that uh, expansion right there, and uh, probably going to be successful in doing that. Going to push in with this huge force uh, right on Bisu's main, and I just feel like it's a more mobile force. And with those dragoons underneath, and only uh, like four Goli uh, four or five Goliaths, five Goliaths. Uh, actually, it looks like eight Goliaths, but still eight Goliaths versus six carriers. I'm not sure if he's going to be all that. F uh, uh, helpful against it. Managed, did manage to take a single carrier down. Um, still a vulture underneath. Uh, so five tanks and a, a handful of glides. Did manage to take the obs down and that could be critical if he's going to continue with the wraith, uh, wraith production. I don't think he has any wraiths out. Uh, we'll see. <clears throat> Um, and really, actually, I think I think raids are, are not a worthwhile investment at this point. He just needs to continue to invest in Goliath if he's going to uh, continue with this game. And I'm sure I'm going to get lots of insults all over the place uh, for the Wraith Comet, but we'll see in the future. Uh, 6 o'clock position now being attacked uh, decently, and Bisu, oh wow, Bisu catching all those probes coming in. Um, absolute massacre, and, and Up Magic just not catching it, I think, and, and now gathering up some Goliaths. Uh, Bisu just trying to win this economically, going to try to turn this into a long game uh, economic battle in that command center, I don't. It doesn't stand a chance. Those poor souls, poor poor souls. And Bisu, wow, <laughs> huge carrier fleet at this point. And I don't think there's anything those Goliaths can do against it. Um, I don't think any. Wow, I think Bisu basically has this game at this point with just an overwhelmingly dominant force, bringing up probes to attack. Um, looks like he had brought some probes in to kind of uh, supplement that force. Um, but yeah, th they're going to go down, uh, get killed. That was a little bit of a miscue on Beast's part. I'm not sure if he's just trying to free up some Psy or what. But uh, really, he has the unit set to end the game. <clears throat> Only three Goliaths, four Goliaths, trying to, and two tanks trying to face down that entire carrier fleet. That's got to be frightening for them. Um, and again, the, that lone vulture underneath. Um, I'm going to try to engage, and I just don't think Up Magic 1 has the... Uh, he only has three bases, it looks like, and probably only one of those producing. His main's probably entirely out of resources. My guess is that uh, second expansion is probably redu uh, really low on resources as well. So uh, basically, he doesn't have the, the economic force really to, to deal with any of this. Um, and really, even if he did, yeah, I'm going to try to get some more wraiths up. Uh, <clears throat> we'll see if he, he basically is going to be... And wow, Bisu going to take out that bottom right-hand expansion. I think that's going to be it for Up Magic. I'm losing the economy, and now the fact is going down. I would expect GG any second here. Um, Up Magic going to try to defend that bottom right hand expansion with what he has, but I just don't think, uh, well first of all he's going to be able to stop that attack, but I, I just don't think it's been enough. As you can see those factories now going down. Big hit and all that supply absolutely uh, vulnerable here, so I think Bisu is going to take this match. Doing a very good job of keeping that observer in the back. Um, and, and yeah, now going to go up on the main, just taking out all sorts of tech here. <clears throat> I don't see any raids in the area. I'm not sure if Up Magic uh, pulled them out or, or what. Uh, and, and now just going to go rain down on the supply. 
an up magic and a probably make a desperation attack. I'm not sure if he's going to try even try to defend his main at this point, uh, or just try to take out as many of Bisu's building as possible. Uh, but I think he's going to run into basically just going to run right into some reinforcements. Bisu coming down, going to take out the rest of the factories. Uh, a couple dragoons going to engage Bisu. Or, I'm sorry, going to engage up magic force here. Um, but really, I think that'll be sufficient. More carriers being produced, and even those two carriers, I think, will be able to uh, basically delay long enough for the main carrier fleet uh, of Bisu's to come around before up magic would ever be able to take out all the buildings of uh, magic so or of bisus <clears throat> and yeah all those factories almost down now so this is the last attack force of up magic and uh, i just don't think it's going to be enough um just going to try to attack and, and be as quick as possible about taking all these uh, basically all the producing expansions out um and maybe try to pull off a magical micro feed i just don't see it happening though uh, not against carriers not with the map artifacts not with goliaths um and and really uh my guess is those carriers probably fairly decently upgraded at this point so uh, really, uh, definitely firmly in Bisu's hands. Bisu uh, kind of copying Stork here, but it looks like instead of just ending it with four, uh, like Bisu, uh, like Stork did against Flash, expanding simultaneously. And I think that's more of a safe build. I'm not sure. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure if he decided to copy Stork there, but really, that that's a good solution. Uh, against Terran players, and we've seen that in the past, but really not quite as early uh, out of two expansions, and usually you, it's after they've secured the third, so uh, maybe we'll see that shift uh, and trend in Protoss play, and maybe we'll see kind of an upsurge in Terran aggressiveness uh, mid-game once they get basically four, maybe even a four factory push instead of expanding and going and getting more factories down, because you don't want to end up facing basically this. Um, Bisu taking his time going through, <clears throat> actually not taking time, being uh, rushing a little bit, um, going to take out basically all the supply, everything in the area. Those Goliaths still group, and this might actually come down just to a flat mac uh, macro battle. Um, Up Magic going to try to build basically some units in the... In some stuff in the background, take care of all of Bisu's buildings, and, and try to win that way. We kind of uh, all uh, Nalra versus, uh, was it Boxer? No, it was Nalra versus Savior, all of that match. Um, and uh, Magic definitely has an advantage because he has units uh, out and about. I'm not sure if Bisu even has any probes anymore. Uh, the question is, is he going to need it? <clears throat> Two raids, a, hand, a bunch of Goliaths, and a couple tanks now going to push up into Bisu's main. An observer out at that location. Dark Templar now, though, pushing up. And wow, that was a brilliant maneuver by Bisu. Uh, uh, Magic does not have any detection. Um, <coughs> and now, yeah. D oh, wow. Uh, B wow. Uh, Magic leading him into the mines. Um, desperately trying to take him down with the mines. Uh, but loses a couple Goliaths in the process. And I think that's going to be the end of that attack. And that's probably going to be GG in a second here. Actually, no. He's going to try to get that command center up. And if he gets the command center up, no, he's going to call GG right there. So Up uh, Magic uh, losing game three. So Bisu up two to one. And Bisu uh, definitely showing some fantastic micromanagement, some, some fantastic decision making there. Um, going early carriers, taking it out of Up Magic's hands. Uh, I believe Moltrap's going to do game three. Uh, and if they're, and of course, game four, maybe game five. We'll see. I'm not sure how it's going to sort out from here. Thanks for listening, guys.